The Self-Organizing Systems Research Group at Harvard studies the behavior of termites as a model for biologically inspired robots. The researchers need to track the movement of termites in their experiments, but due to the high density of insects, the difficulties with variable lighting, and the need to conduct their experiments on actual soil, the researchers were unable to use off-the-shelf tracking software, and instead had to track the insects by hand. Using standard image processing techniques in combination with a Bayesian model of the termites' movement, I was able to largely automate the tracking of the termites. Additionally, I recovered the orientation of each termite using a steerable filter. The first step in my pipeline is to subtract the background image generated by taking the median pixel values from a group of frames around the current frame. Because lighting conditions change throughout the experiment, this background also needs to be updated as the video progresses. Secondly, I generate a difference of Gaussian blob detector. The negative surround of this filter helps localize each termite and prevents dense groups of termites from being seen as a single blob. Notice that the areas directly between termites actually have a lower probability than open areas. Thirdly, I use Bayes' rule to combine this map of probability with my prior knowledge of each termite's location. I generate a Gaussian PDF around the last location of the termite and do an element-wise multiplication with the PDF extracted from the current frame. In the case of densely packed termites, this helps distinguish individuals between frames. As a final step, I use gradient descent to walk up the probability field of the image with my starting location as the result of the Bayesian combination. I find the orientation of the termites by finding the direction of the steepest second-order derivative. I first measure the response to the steerable filters representing the xx, yy, and xy derivatives. From these responses, I can calculate what the response would have been to an arbitrary angle and take the maximum. Unfortunately, this only resolves angle up to 180 degree ambiguity. This tracking method performs very well for short video segments, but has a low probability of catastrophic failure, because once a track is lost, the motion model makes it impossible for the algorithm to recover. However, lost tracks can be detected programmatically, and a user can be prompted for input.